back. A partial eclipse will be visible in the skies on October 14th. And Jack St. Louis from the Vermont Astronomical Society joins us now. Thanks for being here. Glad to be here. So what is a partial eclipse? What does that mean? That means that when the sun goes in, the moon goes in front of the sun, it doesn't completely cover the sun up. The coverage for Vermont on the 14th will be only about 30%. So about a third of the sun will be covered. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. And so what does that mean then um, for actually viewing it safely? Because you can't just look at it. No, never look at the sun anytime. It's bad for your eyes. Um, the easiest thing you can do is take a piece of cardboard, a white piece of cardboard for to show the sun on, uh -huh. and another cardboard, a little bit bigger, put a little pinhole in it. Yeah, that's a real tiny that's, hole that's, right there. I yeah. used, used a thumbtack. Yep. And you stand with the sun behind you and you shine the sun through the hole on the board and you'll be able to see the eclipse. And you have some other options though for folks who have a telescope or if something. If you have a telescope, you can look on the internet yeah. for a solar funnel or a sun funnel. This is rear projection screen material, which you can get cut to size. This is just an oil filter. Yeah. And there's a, I put an eyepiece at the end that fits right in your focuser of your telescope. And it projects the sun on the screen from behind, totally safe, and many people can view it at the same time. And um, you also have, though, some glasses that you can get online, you can get pretty easily. Yes, this, the uh, solar glasses. They're very stylish. Yep. Um, it needs to have the ISO number, which you can find on the internet, too, and, and to make sure it's the, the proper um, protection. Yep. And what our club has done is we bought viewers. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, so they're easy to hand to other folks. And, you know, one size fits all, and it actually has our advertising on it too yep but this is uh, totally safe and and for the 14th eclipse you'll need this for the entire eclipse uh, time yeah and what time of the day are people looking out for the 14th starts at 12 12 uh -huh. p.m. the maximum coverage is at 119 or so and it ends at 230 227 230 yeah do you know of any events that are going on for this one uh, are people organizing a watch or is it not a big enough deal for that um, no, we're not planning any big events. Yeah, but I know you are for the April one. Well, we're we're doing presentations. We're going to uh, be at different locations, libraries, schools, if they ask us. We're not. Uh, I'm going to be down at the Echo Center. Nice. And the Echo Center is working with Burlington to make a big a big. Uh, yeah, and that's April duty. 8th, I believe. April 8th. Yeah, in the spring. How rare is that kind of eclipse? The total eclipse that we'll get in April. I looked that up, and the an eclipse for the same location. On, on the earth is like 387 years Wow! between total eclipses. But eclipses happen, there's at least two every year somewhere on the planet. Right. And it can be partial, they can be annular, they might be a total, but there's always something going on. Mm -hmm. If the earth and the moon and the sun were lined up perfectly, we would have a total solar eclipse every month. Yeah. We'd be bored with it. <laughs> <laughs> and this, obviously, we're not bored with it because you're hearing, you know, hotels are booking out. You yep. know, this will be a big tourist driver for the region for yep. April. And a lot of these uh, viewing glasses and viewers have been ordered, you know, in the thousands. Perfect. For, for folks. And we will be following that, of course, closer to the day. Jack St. Louis, thanks yep. so much. Sure.